happy Sunday. It is day four of Vlogmas. It's Sunday, December the 4th, my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mama. Uh, I've gotten a few things done this morning. Um, I'm gonna go dye some yarn before I frost a cake and make some supper. Uh, my shop is a little bit low, so I'm gonna do some new colorways for the mitt kits, replenish some of the colorways, and I'll take you along for a little bit of dyeing. Um, for supper, I'm making a couple of casseroles, and I have to start off by saying, we're not really a casserole family. Um, I never make a casserole, but this summer I tried a scallop casserole, and it was delicious, and served just like on little puff pastries. My daughter doesn't like seafood, so I'm gonna do a chicken one as well. So I'm gonna make a couple of those, a scallop casserole, chicken, and I'll show you the recipes. They're super easy, but you might like to have them on hand for that easy meal. And what else? I don't know what else we're doing today. I, I, I gotta get some dyeing done for sure. It's like 8.30 and I've got probably two hours of dyeing ahead of me. So I'm gonna get that done and then take care of the cake and start supper. And I'll fit in a little knitting chit chat too. Okay, I'll see you soon.
is time to frost the cake. So I'm gonna make a really basic cream cheese uh, frosting and I'll show you what I'm using. Four cups of icing sugar, half a cup of butter. It's supposed to be softened. I melted it a little bit, but it, it'll be fine. One block of cream cheese and two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, it is about, what time is it? 20 after three. So I'm all finished dyeing. I got the uh, frosting on the cake all finished and I just took a really hot shower. I'm always like cold uh, and after dyeing yarn, I get wet and it's out in the garage and it's messy. So I just took a really hot shower. So I'm a little flushed. Um, but before everybody shows up, I have a minute to sit down and do a little knitting before I begin supper. Uh, but I did get the hat cast on last night and picked away at it this morning. So it's the Getting Warmer hat. It's a free pattern by Espastrico. And it's, um, it's a worsted weight, I believe. Um, anyway, it's free though. So right now I've got the ribbing done. I'm just working on the body of the hat. So I've got, uh, I think seven inches. So to get the garter stitch, you, you're just going to knit a row and then you're going to purl a row. So this will be nice to uh, work away at. And this yarn is, is beautiful. It's so soft and plump. It's, um, I had mentioned before, I got this when I, uh, I was a vendor at the PEI Fiber Festival. And before the show starts, of course, I always run around and do a little shopping. So the Green Gables Alpaca booth, um, they had a ton of gorgeous yarn so I grabbed two skeins of this it's it's called the Royal Birch so again it's just the natural color it's 80% alpaca 20% merino so I got that also at that booth I had gotten um, a skein of this it's, it's their heritage and it, this is the DK base it's the Malpec Ebb so this is, what's this, 100% alpaca. Anyway, it's this beautiful, like deep slate blue. So I got some yarn to make Dan a hat for Christmas. So it's all finished. Another little bit of Christmas knitting is all done. The pattern is called, I think it's called the Cozy Basic Hat, but I wanna make sure I'm saying this right. The Cozy Basic Hat by Manon Jolet. And it's a free pattern. I'll put it on the screen, but anyway, Manon was also vending there and she had this hat in her booth, a sample. And I was like, that's the perfect hat that I wanna make for Dan. So, I mean, I guess if you wanted to wear it slouchy, you could, but I know Dan likes to have a double cuff to keep his ears warm. So, you're going to be able to fold it up and then look at the beautiful detail at the crown. So yeah, and, and it's a free pattern. So I'm going to tuck the, it needs a good steaming, but I think the color is just gorgeous. So I'm going to tuck this away 
for Christmas. And uh, I had also picked up this yarn. They were my um, booth neighbors, the Cape Breton yarn. And this is alpaca and surrey and merino. So I'm gonna make the same hat for my stepfather for Christmas in this beautiful blue. Um, I had also grabbed some roving or a fleece to, to spin. This is from the Paisley Defender, Sue Smith. Anyway, all of her fiber was just, oh, everything was just beautiful. What do you call these, bats? Um, so I have a total, I'm just hoarding these. Like, I have so much fleece. I just need to make time to sit and spin because I do love spinning, but I never make the time for it. So I have a nice little collection and I grab this to add to my collection. It's beautiful. Something else I got there that I thought was really cool. I've kept this, this all together because I've been waiting to show you guys. So I think it was the Periwinkle booth had, uh, they're made by Knitter's Pride. It's teal wooden darning needles and it's from their Mindful collection. I don't know if anybody's ever seen these before, but just the packaging itself kind of caught my eye and so I picked it up to see what these were. Anyway, the, it's so beautiful. So it's this little teak wood box and then you have <clears throat> excuse me these wooden darning needles so I mean I truly use these these are great for um you know weaving in your ends and everything so I have those and then lastly this is ridiculous so I was walking around the whole marketplace and Leanne if you're watching you'll remember this this is so funny so I walk around the marketplace and there was these alpaca teddy bears I think they were alpaca and they were like I don't know if they're $65 or $85 and I'm I said Dan I really want one but do I need a teddy bear like what am I going to do with it but they were so soft and so sweet and I just and he was like eh I don't know do you really want a teddy bear and I'm like yeah you're right and he goes eh do it I just spent $40 on something really weird and I was like what is it so he he's, he's like close your eyes <laughs> So I closed my eyes, put my hand out, and he placed this in my hand. I still think this is so funny. He bought two potatoes that look like soap. Or, no, two soap that look like potatoes. And they were $20 each, which, I mean, makers, I get it. They're totally worth it, I'm sure. It smells amazing. We we gave the other one to my daughter and she put it in her bathroom. She has her own place. And when she has company over, it's not a it's not soap that she uses. She kind of has it on in de as decoration and people will come out of the bathroom going, "Sarah, you have a potato." And anyway, it's so funny. I just thought that was hilarious and I had to share it with you guys. So we have a, a potato soap. It does smell really, really good and it really does look like a potato. So I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it in my main bathroom or like my guest bathroom because then people can come out and do the same. Like, what is that? So there's my little show and tell that I've kind of held off on to, uh, to show you guys. So what else? I guess I want to show um, a favorite thing too because I've talked about this before, but if you haven't watched before, I haven't, I think it was a couple of years ago that I showed this, but before um, I give Dan his hat, I'm going to steam it and kind of plump up the uh, the fabric and get the wrinkles out. And anyway, I don't want to block it. It just needs a steam. But if you don't have like a little handheld steamer, I, I definitely recommend getting one. I got this off Amazon, like I said, years ago, and I'm sure you could get better quality, bigger ones. But I just like having this, especially for my knits. If I take it out of my closet and it's been folded, I just, you know, put it on a nice, like, kind of sloped hanger and give it a steam just to get all the creases out. But um, there's just some things that I've knit that I don't want to block either, and I prefer steaming because sometimes blocking takes the plumpiness out of your knits. And uh, so a steamer is a great alternative. So if you don't have a little handheld steamer, go on Amazon or wherever. 
and get one because it's I, I find it so convenient and even for my clothes Alex when he moved out I got him one so uh, I just thought especially when he goes to work and everything for his shirts I and it's an, just an easier way to uh, to take the wrinkles out instead of having to fiddle with an ironing board and an iron so anyway um, I'm gonna open up my day three of Advent too I think earlier I said it was day four it's day three let's see what this one's called this one is called Pe pecan or pecan sticky bun so number three Oh, so pretty. Yeah, all of the colors have been so nice and subtle. They're gonna be really pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. Yeah, have to figure that out. So there. Well, I'm gonna go have a few minutes to myself, work on my hat, and then I'm gonna make supper. I'm gonna make those two dishes that with the scallops and the kit and the uh, chicken. They're super easy. I, I probably won't go into much detail about them. I'm going to show you the ingredients and then maybe just pop a little video up about how I put them together and yeah that's it. And then I'm just going to make a make an easy salad to go with it and I I got some lots of sticks to throw in the air fryer because my kids love them so uh, that's it. So yeah it's been a it's been a full day. Um, I don't have to well I'm going to die again on Tuesday. I've got a full die because I've got uh, my yarn of the month to conquer and get out the door. So I'll die again on Tuesday and yeah. So I will, I'm babbling. I will take you along for the rest of our evening. My mom's little family birthday dinner. It's gonna be my mom, my stepfather, my father, Dan and I, and my kids, Alex and Sarah. So I will see you shortly. Okay, bye.